Near record prices, the pain at the pump. It's a reality we hope we never get used to. And with the average price in San Diego at 632 per gallon today, President Biden now says he's considering a gas tax holiday that would temporarily halt the federal gas tax would bring a small measure of relief as many San Diegans are still feeling the pinch those prices have on their daily lives and their livelihoods. Good evening, I'm Jared Ahrens in for Kimberly Hunt. ABC 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena goes in depth on how you might get through this price surge. Making ends meet. For the majority of Californians, it's become quite the challenge. It's a lot of other things I can't do because I have to pay for gas. You know what I'm saying? Less food, less playtime. You know what I'm saying? Because I gotta put gas, I gotta go to work, right? Record high gas prices are now seemingly set every week. Currently, California has the most expensive gas prices in the nation at $6.39 a gallon. That's according to AAA. I usually um, put full tank probably like $60. Now it's like $100. It depends where I go. Here in San Diego, prices are just under the state average at $6.34. Meet Al Porsche. Since 2016, Al's been driving full time in San Diego's rideshare community. The Iraq combat veteran provides a vital service. Times are tough, and when people don't know where to turn, Al's ready to swoop in. People need help. They, you have people with uh, doctor's appointments. They want to see their grandkids, their kid, the parents want to see their 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 mom and dad, or they have a doctor's appointment or a job interview or whatever the case is. I I, I want to be there for them. Porsche weaves in and out of traffic from sun up to sun down. His 2017 Honda Accord can get 32 miles on the street and 37 miles per gallon on the freeway. But despite his fuel friendly import, the Army veteran still feels the squeeze. When I first started driving, to fill up this car, it cost $60. That was pre pandemic. Right now, currently, it costs 80 to $100. The war in Ukraine is pushing prices higher due to supply concerns and overwhelming demand. You know, outrageous what the war in Ukraine is causing. And we're trying very hard. We've got 240,000 barrels as well coming out, uh, uh, from other nations. The big question everyone is asking, when will the fuel prices begin to stabilize? Not anytime soon, according to most experts. With summer in full swing, it's hard to believe, but gas prices could surge even higher. This overall era of high prices could stick around for several years. The new normal for driver Al Porsche, getting by with just the necessities. I'm gonna get what I need, not what I want, because it's a necessity. Necessity isn't food and, and stuff that's healthy for me to keep me going sustenance not one one is it's, it's going to break the bank to avoid breaking his bank account not only is al cutting corners he pays close attention to the trends in gas pricing as he crisscrosses and navigates the county go to maybe uh, maybe a grocery store or costco or you can go on base if you're not a current or former member of the military and can't pump your gas on one of the local military bases you might want to check out the prices at costco there's a reason why many San Diegans are willing to endure the long lines. On average, Costco is around 40 to 50 cents cheaper than the San Diego County average. Just earlier tonight, I looked up Costco prices at GasBuddy.com and found one of their locations selling regular for $5.89. That's 43 cents cheaper than AAA's listed county average of $6.32. Almost every station on Gas Buddy's list of lowest prices in San Diego is now Costco. I think they're passing along inevitable discounts much faster. Um, cheers to Costco for bringing down prices. Industry analyst Patrick DeHaan of GasBuddy.com tells me Costco can charge less because the big box giant takes a lower profit margin and because Costco sells so much gas so quickly. That means other gas stations are possibly still selling fuel they purchased at peak prices. Well, Costco is selling gas it bought more recently at a lower price. University of San Diego economics professor Alan Jin tells me we also can't forget the majority of Costco's profits are derived from membership fees. I filled up at Costco uh, yesterday myself. So if you can entice people to sign up for membership then by giving them this, this cheap gas, then you're, you're, you don't need to make a lot then. 
on the gas. You'll make it up then in terms of the membership. If you can't afford the membership, rideshare driver Al Porsche advises to research the prices online and... The closer to the water you are, anything close to the water or next to the freeway is going to be expensive and more inland it gets to cost less. He also says his mental health is much more positive when he fills up when his tank reaches half. But possibly more importantly, Al wants us to remember that life is full of potholes and you're not alone. You know, we're not alone. We're all going through something. Whether you want to would say you are or not, what we're going through is temporary. Happiness is just as temporary as sadness. And um, like when you get hurt, you get a bruise, you heal, you get a scratch, you heal, and then you go on about life. That was Lindsay Pena reporting. Stay on top of any new developments with gas prices by downloading our 10 News app. It's free and available on the App Store.